Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those who are neither and those who are all, you may have found yourself in a pickle. Now, see, your hair is in a state. You need to get those messy locks neatly tied up so that you can go about your business whilst looking dashing. For today's video, video every day in August, I will be showing you how to plait your hair into a French braid. Pop in a bit of dry shampoo if needs be, rub that in nicely, and then section off a handful of hair at the top of your head. Hold on to that with your right hand, and with the other, comb through the side of your head and find a similar sized piece. Pop it over the section you're holding, flattening any flyaways, and then try to hold both of these in your left hand, keeping each section separate. Comb through the right side of your head and find a similar sized piece, and swap that one over with the piece you found from the left. Let the piece on the left hang and collect more hair to add it up from the side. Swap the new larger amount of hair over the middle piece again, so that the new larger amount is now the new middle piece. Repeat with the section on the right. It is rather difficult, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it eventually. Now, keep going right until you reach the absolute ends of your hair, and then, once all pieces of your hair from your scalp are plaited up, secure your braid. Feel more than free to tug and loosen up your style so you don't look perhaps quite as prim and proper. I enjoy having a few strands around my cheeks. I also find that loosening the hair around the crown and the top of your head adds marvellous volume to your look. Once you're happy, pop on your oversized glasses, mine were a gift from a dear viewer in Orlando, Florida, and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Today's letter is from Elizabeth, packaged in a beautiful dotted envelope. She writes that she is not confident in her artistic abilities, but thought to send some finger-painted daisies. Splendid! I must say, Elizabeth, reading your letter was rather emotional for me. I am so sorry you also deal with the realisation. As you wrote, yes, it is a horrible thing to encounter and to deal with, but you are bright, and you ended your letter on a wonderful note. There is always tomorrow. Sending along many well wishes to you, Elizabeth, and of course to those watching. Happy Vida, and I will see you all tomorrow.